the only part, Dan, of this Chelsea side that's picking itself at the moment when everyone's fit and we know Rhys James wasn't available is the back four. Mm. Uh, we saw Chelwell take a knock again, so what that's going to mean for this weekend against Arsenal, I don't know. But if they're all fit and the goalie's fit, that's, that's nailed on. The rest of it is a bit of an issue at the moment and I don't want to over-egg that pudding because, you know, they've had a, a good win. But it is a bit of a, an issue in terms of the balance. I don't like Jorginho in there with Canty push forward again. I don't think they need it because Jorginho sits deep. Well, Thiago Silva can come out with the ball and pass the ball and they can he can split the centre-halves that way. Uh, Canty can drop back in there and, and defend. So I don't like the two of them in the same side. I echo the, what Don said about Werner, but he's going to have to he's going to have to get over it. I mean, he seems the only one of the front three at the moment that's undroppable uh, in terms of he seems to play all the time when available. I mean, um, Abraham's been in, Giroud's been in, um, Pulisic has been in and out. I know he's been injured, but Werner seems to be the constant. But he's lacking. It might be tiredness, but he looks as if he's lacking confidence to me as well. I mean, the finish was poor in the first half. The ball was delayed from Christian Pulisic. I thought it was a poorly timed ball. It should have went early. But that being said, he still had time to get it out of his feet. Then he had a great chance in the second half. The Abraham first goal was actually a horrendous shot from Timo Werner. So it's going to be really interesting come the weekend what Lampard's team selection is going to be because that was far from fluent. And here he has an opportunity to go to the Emirates. I think the game's at the Emirates and really... Uh, you know, trample on top of this Arsenal side that have been really weak recently. So his team selection is going to be really interesting. Frank, I want to ask you about that first goal. Brilliant header by Thiago Silva. How do you defend that? Well, definitely not like the Amherst did. And I think it's a, it's a tactical uh, mistake for me. Always been, you know, I think you have to put more responsibility on the players when they have to mark uh, uh, their opponents, and which is not the case. It's a zone marking, so everybody takes uh, his own zone and uh, doesn't really care about the opponents. And uh, we saw Bowen a little bit close to Thiago Silva, but he wasn't his zone when he, came, uh, when he went forward, so he let, it go. he let him go. And Thiago Silva was completely alone in the middle of two players. And, you know, when you go back to the dressing room, you cannot say to a player, you know, why, why, why did you do that? Why, why you didn't keep uh, the marking on Thiago Silva? Nobody is responsible, so nobody is guilty. At the end of the day, everybody is, at the, and even the, the coach, and mainly the coach. I, I think you should take your opponent, your opponent on and make sure that uh, he doesn't go forward. I mean, it's not the ball who is important, it's the, the opponent who is important, important. So just look at the opponent, keep him close to you, uh, make sure that not too much, but make sure he doesn't go to the ball. But if he doesn't touch the ball, he won't score. That's as simple as that. But if you do a zone marking, it's impossible to th see that way of defending. But there must be merits there for zonal marking, Don, because so many coaches do it. And to be fair, you know, this sort of goal from Thiago Silva isn't something we see, I suppose, that regularly. Or why don't we see it more then? Well, a couple of things. Aaron Cresswell was at fault. He was the uh, the front screen for West Ham, and I, I, I've always been told when when you're when you're operating with a front screen and the first man has to be decent in the air. Cresswell's not particularly good in the air, so he got underneath the ball. And then Frank's right. When you when you're marking the big players coming in, you've got to get touch tight. You can't allow Thiago Silva and Zuma to get the run and jump on you. Otherwise, you've got no chance. So you get extra tight. You get underneath them. And if they are going to beat you in the air, best case scenario for them is. They're just going to knock a header down just, you know, into, into absolutely no man's land, into nowhere. And they weren't tight enough, they weren't strong enough, and they got punished. But it stems from, in my opinion, Cresswell not being particularly good in the air, who was in that front screen trying to do that job and it didn't suit him. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.